It is the resurrection that makes all of this present suffering bearable. If this is all there is, then let's eat, drink, and be merry. But if the last affliction that we experience here on earth, death, is not the last thing, then let us take comfort in the midst of our troubles in the hope that our God will make sense out of all of this mess when Christ returns for us at the resurrection of the dead. It's this hope of freedom that that resounds from Paul in verse 51 of 1 Corinthians 15. Listen, he says, I'll tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable. And we will be changed. The poet Gerard Manley Hopkins encapsulated this wonder at the end of one of his finer poems. In a flash, at a trumpet crash, I am all at once what Christ is because he was what I am. And this jack joke, poor potsherd, patch, matchwood, immortal diamond, is immortal diamond. Beautiful. God's transformation of us is is a process that begins right now. We are just as Hopkins describes us, a sorry collection of less than desirable attributes. Patches, potsherds, matchwood, jokes. Which are hiding an inexhaustible treasure, an immortal diamond, which will one day be revealed in us. But getting beyond the rubbish to the jewel beneath involves letting go and becoming different and dying in big and little ways and being constantly renewed. So these are the realities that we live in. I hope that you can carry a few of them with you beyond our time together this term. Uh, they certainly have shaped me and, and I know that they've shaped some others. And I hope that in the power of God's spirit you give them the opportunity to shape you as well. You and I are beloved of God. Our spiritual formation is not primarily left up to us. For our God has not asked us to journey all alone. And even when we wander, when we feel lost, our God does not abandon us. But rather, his spirit seeks us out and draws us home, inviting us to share in the wholeness that God has designed for us. In Jesus Christ.